Today we're gonna put Neymar's careers in reverse, starting from Al Hilal in the 2023-2024 season and going all the way back to Santos, where he was discovered. Credits to Leozinho for the idea. In his debut at 18 years old in the Saudi league, Neymar came on in the second half and in 20 minutes scored the two goals that led Al Hilal to their first win that year. It was a great kickoff for Neymar's career, scoring 13 goals in 25 matches and finishing the league as runners-up, including a hat-trick against Al Nasser, the Cristiano Ronaldo team, winning that game 4-2. The final the final of the Arab Club Cup that year was also against Al Nasser. Neymar had the chance of winning his first professional football title. Now's the big moment. Al Nasser and Al Hilal stepping onto the field. Neymar on one side, CR7 on the other. Can they take this trophy? Young Neymar scored one to bring Al Hilal closer to the cup, but his team's defense messed up and Cristiano Ronaldo turned the game around with a historic hat trick. CR7 lifted the trophy for Al Nasser, and Neymar could only cry and prepare to win in the next season. The second season arrived, and with a lot of dedication, the promise of that team scored an an incredible 20 goals and provided 11 assists in 34 league games, becoming champions of that season. For the second time, he reached the final of the Arab Cup, and this year he was determined to make the difference. In the first 10 minutes of the game, he opened the scoring, bringing Al Hilal closer to the Saudi Cup. But unfortunately, all it had Benzema equalized at the 82nd minute, shaking Neymar's team. However, it shook the team, not Neymar, because he knew there was still time. He didn't just score one, but two goals, using the final 8 minutes plus the 5 added by the referee. This historic hat trick to turn the game around in a cup final caught the attention of the European clubs. Get out of here, curse. Yeah, PSG was the team that splashed the most cash, and Neymar didn't have hesitate to sign with the French club. The whole crowd was crazy to see Neymar shining, but unfortunately, his debut in a friendly match against Real Madrid was very disappointing. Brahim scored 3 goals for Real, Vinicius Junior didn't stay behind, he scored 1, and Kamavinga closed it with a flourish. 5 for Real Madrid, 0 for PSG. Neymar was completely shut down in that game, but that didn't faze young Ney, who after that game flew back to Brazil because Ancelotti called him up to participate in the 2026 World Cup. The World Cup, the Brazilian national team went through the group stage without losing a single game, and out of the three matches the superstar scored in two. With his debut for the national team, when Brazil was already leading 2-0 against Poland, Neymar scored the third goal. And in the third group stage match, Ney scored the only goal of the game, and let me tell you, it was a beauty. Beautiful, right? Brazil qualified and it's time to change the history, bringing the 6th cup, my friends. The qualifiers arrived and the round of 16 matches against France, making it even tougher. The game started, the crowd is super excited and Neymar, who's not on the field yet, is too nervous for this match. It's do or die. But France was not messing around and they took the lead in the start of the second half with a goal from Griezmann. At halftime, Ancelotti talked to the Brazilian team and said, Look, if you lose this thing, it's gonna get ugly for you guys. In the second half, the coach subbed Neymar in and that's when the magic began. But it wasn't easy, France was putting a lot of pressure. Fortunately, at the seventh minute, France fouled Neymar in the penalty area, and he scored the equalizer for Brazil. The quiet Brazilian crowd regained their belief, and in the second half of the extra time, the opportunity came. Casemiro gave a pass to Paquetá, securing the next game's qualification when... Paquetá missed it. And the referee blew the final whistle. Come on, man, you only had one job. Can the national team handle the penalties? To the dismay of Brazilians, Richarlison missed the penalty. France didn't miss any, and they won the game. The dream of the ex was postponed. Even though it's for a video, as a Brazilian, it still hurts to hear that. But there's still a lot of Neymar's reverse career ahead. And in summary, his first season with Paris Saint-Germain was a hat-trick against Monaco in the French league, including a bicycle kick goal, another hat-trick against Montpellier in the French Cup, and he ended the third season with 25 goals and 11 assists. He became a champion of both the league and the French Cup with ease. Not bad for a team that lost 5-0 in Neymar's debut, right? Here comes the truth. Fourth season arrived, and the big question is whether the boy Neymar will lift the Champions League trophy with PSG on field. Looks like things are good, because PSG is stepping onto the field for the second leg of the Champions League round of 16 against Manchester United. The match has begun, and the French club only needs a draw, because they won 1-0 against the United in the first First leg. But Neymar was not satisfied with just one goal in the first leg, and he also scored in the second. In the quarterfinals, PSG eliminated Barcelona, winning 4 3 on the aggregate. Neymar scored in both first leg and second leg. This set up PSG against Liverpool in the semi finals. The matches were tough, but in the first half of the first leg, Ney opened the scoring and made PSG more comfortable. In the second match, they defended really well, didn't concede any goals, and even injured an opponent. Neymar is in the Champions League final with PSG, and the opponent is Bayern Munich. And what a performance from Neymar.
a goal and an assist and in the Champions League final. PSG did concede a goal, but the time was up for Bayern. And yes, at least here in the game, Neymar lifted the Champions League trophy with PSG. What a crazy moment, man. In addition, throughout the season, he scored 38 goals and provided 14 assists. Won the French Cup and the league. And of course, with a spectacular performance like that, Mbappé won the best player award. Okay, uh -huh. <laughs> In four seasons, Neymar had already won seven titles at the club level, but he's still aiming for the World Cup, La Liga, Brazilian League, and being the best in the world. That's why, after winning the Champions League for PSG, the lad went to Spain to play for Barcelona, with the goal of winning La Liga, Copa del Rey, and another Champions League. In the 5th and 6th season of his career, the star joined the ranks of Messi and Cristiano Ronaldo, scoring 100 goals in 90 games. His dribbles were leaving opponents in knots. He was loved and even applauded by rival fans for his skill in the field. It seemed like magic. During this period, he won La Liga twice, Copa del Rey once, and the Spanish Super Cup once. And of course, participated in two more editions of the Champions League. In the semi-final against his old club, PSG, Neymar scored two goals and Barcelona won 4-0 on aggregate. In the final against Real Madrid, although Neymar scored two goals, luck was on Real Madrid's side and they equalized with two penalty goals. With five minutes left in the red regular time, Rodrigo scored Real's third goal, and Neymar watched from the stands as the rival team lifted the Champions League trophy. But he didn't give up, and in his second Champions League with Barca, they also faced Real Madrid in the final. And man, it was a tough game, but with one goal from Neymar, Barcelona won 3-2, getting revenge from the previous Champions League and Neymar found himself lifting the heavy Champions League trophy for the second time in his career. With two Champions League titles and titles in Spain, France and Saudi Arabia, it was time for Neymar to transfer to Santos. Actually, now it's World Cup year, but I'll show that later after he tries to win the Brazilian League. Since his career started backwards, he didn't have that chance at the beginning. Santos was in the sixth place of the league when Neymar arrived, and his level was simply way above the other Brazilian players. Because of that, Santos won 80% of the games from then on. Neymar scored three goals in a match against Corinthians in the Brazilian League. He also scored a hat-trick against Grêmio in Brazilian League as well. And not a single game went by without him scoring until the end of the season, when he became the champion of the Brazilian League for the first time. Additionally, the next year, Neymar won the Campeonato Paulista, another Brazilian League, and the Copa Libertadores. With all these titles, Neymar was finally considered the best player in the world while playing in Brazil. Why didn't this happened before in Europe. Now all that's left is his last goal, winning a World Cup with the Brazilian national team. And the World Cup came for the second time. But it wasn't difficult for Brazil, who won all their matches to reach the quarterfinals. 2-0 against Serbia, 1-0 over Croatia, they crushed the Netherlands 4-2, they overwhelmed South Korea with a stunning 6-0. But when the quarterfinals arrived, France and Brazil were going to face each other again after 4 years. And once again, a very tense match. Neymar, who had scored in all the World Cup games up to that point felt a little flutter in his stomach, but that didn't stop him from opening the scoring for Brazil and sending the fans into a frenzy. However, France didn't let go and created many dangerous chances. But at the beginning of the second half, with great skill, Vinicius Jr. scored Brazil's second goal. But to terrify Brazilians, France was awarded a penalty due to that tackle by the defender, and Mbappé converted, leaving it 2-1 for Brazil. With just a few seconds left in a France counterattack. Brazilian goalkeeper saved it and secured Brazil's spot in the semi-final. Neymar eliminated France, my friends. Let's go. In the semi-finals against Germany, Brazil won with goals from Vinicius Jr. and Rodrigo. And in the grand final against England, Neymar scored. Vinicius Jr. scored. Pedro scored. Rodrigo scored, and Brazil couldn't stop scoring. Nine minutes of play went by, and I only counted Brazil's goal, but... For every goal Brazil scored, England scored 1-2. Four for Brazil, four for England. In extra time, no one scored, and the match went to the final decision. Penalties. But Brazil could not even think of wasting that chance, and they scored all the necessary goals to... Finally win the 6th World Cup from Brazil. I can't believe it, man. As a Brazilian, only in this little game I can have this joy. Because, you know, it's tough. But I hope you liked this video. And if you enjoyed this video, you will love the one showing up in the screen. And of course, don't forget about Leozinho, the owner of this idea.